Hi guys, welcome back to the channel for another video. A video which could take us on a nice warming trip into the hellscape. Say a prayer for the comment section. I've received a ton of messages from you guys wanting to talk about this, which I'm more than happy to. I think this is actually a really teachable moment and an important moment for education and awareness surrounding eating disorders and particularly how to support somebody with an eating disorder. A photo surfaced of Eugenia Cooney a couple of days ago, which has stirred up a lot of discussion and discourse particularly from people like Keemstar and the always compassionate, never garbage fire Onision, which is a follow on from a tweet that she put up a few months ago, seemingly confirming that she was entering some kind of medical treatment, which a lot of people assumed that was probably recovery from her eating disorder. I'm not here to confirm or deny that she has an eating disorder. I'm not here to speculate on her potential recovery, but a lot of what's going on surrounding this topic is really really concerning and clearly reflects just a lack of awareness and education on the topic of how to approach or talk about somebody who is potentially in recovery. There's two main points in this video that I'm going to address. The first one being that there have been numerous videos which have gone up in the last couple of days with people who are essentially congratulating themselves and their audience for Eugenia's potential recovery. And they're sort of splashing this photo around uh, and giving themselves a nice big pat on the back for their part in getting her to a point where she is potentially healthier. Now, the intentions here may have been good. Their initial videos sort of trying to speak directly to Eugenia or to her family or fan base or whomever may have come from really good intentions. I've made a video recently about how that approach is incredibly misguided, but now to have this assertion that you or your community are responsible for her potential recovery is to say the least, insulting. To be clear, there's a lot of things that this nobody on the internet knows nothing about, but if there is something that I do understand, it's recovery from an eating disorder. For context, I recovered from anorexia binge purge subtype six years ago. I have since become an advocate in the field and was appointed as ambassador for Australia's leading eating disorder charity. And about a year and a half ago, I set up my own business as an eating disorder recovery coach and have helped people to recover from their eating disorders of all kinds of different diagnoses, anorexia, bulimia, OSFED binge eating disorder. As I stated in a previous video on this topic, you cannot make somebody recover from an eating disorder who does not want to. It is absolutely possible that you can be supportive of somebody going through recovery, which I don't know how much the en masse on the internet support is actually conducive to helpful support and recovery. I know as somebody who accidentally documented their recovery to an audience, as I did here on YouTube, I really just needed somewhere to keep my videos as I was learning through recovery. And then people found it. And I had a minuscule audience who would comment on my weight, who would comment on my fluctuations, who would comment on my progress. And I found it enormously unhelpful at times. The encouragement was great, but the onslaught of abuse and horrendous behavior that she's been on the receiving end of, there's no way that it could have been helpful. It just isn't possible. For somebody to reach the point where they are absolutely committed to what it takes to recover from an eating disorder is enormous and totally their own accomplishment. Your recovery is your accomplishment, nobody else's. Support from other people is wonderful and generous and in some cases really, really essential, but it is not your accomplishment that somebody else is recovering. There is no amount of pressure that you can put on somebody to make them truly commit to what it takes to recover from their eating disorder. Not from family, friends, partners, and certainly not from people you've never met on the internet. If anything, that amount of pressure and feedback and Horrific criticism would very much perpetuate the shame and guilt associated with the eating disorder and drive you further into behaviors. It's incredibly naive to think that you need to tell somebody that an eating disorder is bad for them or unhealthy for them or they need help. A sufferer is all too aware of the consequences. They're aware that they're missing out on opportunities and a career and success and the chance to travel the world, they are so painfully aware of that, that is why they are very likely stuck in the cycle they are in. If anything, that speaks to how powerful the eating disorder is, that they can be all too aware of that and still continue in that cycle. Taking credit for somebody's recovery or decision to recover is not cool. It completely discounts 
not the day by day, hour by hour, minute by minute, but the second by second commitment that you have to make to that choice. It undercuts the strength, the bravery, the mental and physical effort and energy that it takes to start and continue on with this process. Many of the people who I know who have recovered as I have will tell you that unless you have been through this experience yourself, there are just certain aspects of this process that you can never understand. But I think it's important where we can at opportunities like this to educate people on how to be a bit more sensitive and a bit more understanding because this is a really, really tenuous time. If Eugenia is in recovery from an eating disorder, it's only been a few months. There's different sort of milestones in terms of recovery. Three years, five years, seven years, 10 years, which indicates this is a really long process, guys. It takes a long time to get to a place of full recovery. It's absolutely possible. It's possible for everyone. So the fact that you've got all of these creators saying, you guys did it, we did it, I did it. No, you didn't. She did it, she's doing it, she will do it. Anybody who is recovering from an eating disorder in your life, whatever that eating disorder is, their recovery is their accomplishment and should be celebrated as such. The second point that I wanna make about the discourse commentary uh, about Eugenia's potential recovery from an eating disorder is the landslide of comments that have been made about her appearance. This again reinforces that there's just such a lack of awareness and education about how to support and approach somebody with an eating disorder and certainly somebody going through recovery. One of the main things that I hear from clients who had to go through a period of weight restoration as a part of their recovery, because it is only a part and a very small part, is that one of the most traumatizing parts of their recovery was getting to a point where they were more weight restored than they had been going into the process. And the fact that people reacted as if they were better, as if everything was good now, as if there was nothing left to worry about. And this kind of dialogue that's going on reinforces the idea that this is a physical illness and it isn't. There's a reason why it's in the DSM-5. There's a reason why we call it a mental illness because it is a mental illness. The manifestation physically is one of the symptoms. And to be perfectly blunt and honest with you, weight restoration is just the first domino being knocked over in a very, very long line of dominoes in this recovery process and what it takes to get to a place of full recovery. Weight restoration is no indicator of mental restoration. And the reason why these kinds of comments about looking healthy, weight gain, really, really specific comments about how she looks and her level of attractiveness now, just because somebody looks like they might be doing better doesn't mean that there isn't an incredibly active eating disorder still whirring around inside. And I would venture to guess that given we know about how long it takes to recover from an eating disorder, that if she is going through a recovery process, it would still be quite active. All of those comments are being run through the filter of an eating disorder and what you're trying to say is not what is being heard. Any mention about weight or appearance or looking better or the one that people in recovery hate the most, that you look healthy, is all being interpreted how the eating disorder wants to interpret it. It's using that as proof that this person has their weight getting out of control, that they're doing the wrong thing, that they should be ashamed and guilty and return to old behaviors. That is what they're hearing. You might want to say that, you might want to express that to them, but that's about you and not about them. It is not going to be received the way that you intend it. That is the truth. When I went into recovery, I made a request to my family to never comment on my weight, my appearance, my food, unless there was something clearly very dangerous going on that they could see that there were indicators that I was going back into old behaviors. And that's the job of, if she has a treatment team, if she is in fact in recovery, that is the job of the medical professional she's seeing and her loved ones. It is not for you to take the temperature of that and give her feedback. And as I stated earlier, it certainly won't be received the way in which you are delivering it. This can be a really traumatic part of recovery for people going through this process because their eating disorder is possibly even stronger now that it's in a body that it's really, really uncomfortable in. So to hear those comments and to hear that validation of what the eating disorder is telling them makes it very, very, very tricky in terms of keeping people on the recovery path and away from relapsing. As a rule, keeping any appearance-based, weight-based comments off the table is essential. If you don't know what to say, if you don't know what's appropriate, it is best to say nothing at all. I think it's lovely and wonderful that there's a community of people out there who wanna cheer her on and be supportive of this apparent process that she's going through. I just think that it's important to use this as a teachable moment to maybe inform people about what's helpful, what isn't, 
what is going to contribute to somebody's progress and success rather than them slipping backwards or potentially relapsing because this very subject is what I hear about from clients all the time. It's something I experienced myself and it just indicates that, yeah, we have further to go in terms of helping people understand this process and experience and how they can be better placed to support and encourage somebody who is working through their recovery. So this video is less directly about you know, Eugenia and her potential recovery, because like I said, I'm not a professional working with her. I'm not a member of her family or friendship group. This is a good template for people to maybe reflect and to gain some more insight into how they can be more helpful, particularly to people in your own life who might be going through this. Just because somebody appears to look like they have improved physically, there's just zero guarantee that that means that they are anywhere close to where they need to be mentally. I hope you guys found that video helpful. I know that they can be a bit blunt and direct, but this sort of stuff just, you know, really needs to be addressed. And I think it really needs to be addressed very directly because it, yeah, it really does put people in jeopardy and it just continues to spread a message which is completely inaccurate and not helping people who are fighting for their lives. And they really truly are. Anorexia has the highest mortality rate of any mental illness. And in a lot of parts of the world receives the least funding, which is why it makes sense that people just don't understand or don't have the awareness or knowledge that, you know, I wish that more people had. As always, let me know what you think in the comments below. Maybe let people know what has helped you to sort of give them an indication of where they can be helpful, what is and isn't you know useful to you in recovery. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Come and find me on Twitter and Instagram under what Mia did next. Much love, take care, see you soon, bye.